Hey, it's me, T from the Pattersons, taking a train to Tibet at an undisclosed location. I just can't avoid. I went over to, you know, where I stay normally in New York. It was, uh, had to post some stuff up. Anyway, and uh, New York, now they, you know, now they have a, now they're charging for bags now. You know what I mean? So people are, you know, buying disposable bags and stuff like that. Well, not disposable, but, you know, bags so they can get your food. But I, I went over to Buddy's house. I had to post some stuff up. Oh, I had my bitters, you know, my moringa bitters. And uh, then I said, hey, you know, I need to go. I said, I need to, I need to go and, um, you know, get my, uh, get my yogurt. Well, I didn't need to, but I, I wanted to because I, I was walking, you know, because I walked over there. Then I was all the way uptown there and like, how do you open this thing up? And so I decided what I needed to do, let me take these glasses off so I can see. Uh, what do I have here? Don't I have some? Open this thing up. Um, man, we got these drawers. Yeah, here. Let me take this, take this knife here. Yeah. Classic um, And so I figured, hey, let me go down to um, Whole Foods on the west side, because I was over 124th Street in Madison Avenue, you know? And so what I needed to do, so since I was walking, you know, because you got to get your exercise, I said, let me go do this, you know? So I went and uh, went to Whole Foods, because I knew that the only one, Whole Foods is the only one that has my... Um, Goat's milk yogurt. See that right there? Like, uh, you know, so I got a big one. Usually I only use little ones from here on 125th Street, you know, the ghetto, man. But I guess 125th Street is still the ghetto. This is down on, uh, what is that, 90, whatever, 95th Street, something like that. And uh, Manhattan, not Manhattan Avenue, whatever it is, Columbus, whatever it is, one of those avenues over there. So I got a big one. Wow. I'm not going to do that right now. But I also got the apple cider vinegar tablets which I couldn't get from Watkins at the time. They didn't have it. So now that I get back here, let me take one more second. Hey, come on, get out of here. Uh, what do you do? Uh, peel and lift. Well, I can't peel, darn it. Peel and lift. That's what they say. Oh, I guess I got to take this off first. Sorry about that. Ah, and then she's supposed to take two a day. So I uh, take two out of here, and I'll take it with my black seeds because this is the afternoon right now. In the afternoon, I take two uh, black seeds, and now I'll be taking two apple cider vinegars. Hey, we're in a flu season. Take two of those. Uh, of course, I'm going to uh, what I want to do. I have to um, make some neat. Because tomorrow morning, not tomorrow, not more. Tomorrow I gotta go take blood tests at the uh, at the VA. Now they got this thing where you can, um, I said, you're, you're by computer, you know, you, the doctor says that you got an appointment next week. So you know when the doctor gets to you, what they want to do is they want to tell you whatever. The point is, I sent them a note. I said, well, do I have to take any tests? They sent me a note back. Yeah. So I gotta go in tomorrow. I was gonna go in tomorrow anyway. Two eggs. Put them on to. Uh, I'm a boil eggs. Uh, fried eggs, eh, you know, poached eggs. I like poached eggs, but aside from that, I also like boiled eggs. So I'm gonna boil those eggs because I'm, I'm eating. You know, I gotta eat. Um, get those out the way. Uh, I gotta take this, some water. Cause you know, we're in, we're in uh, flu season. <laughs> Cut deadly flu season, and you got to drink a lot of water. Uh, and so, I'm gonna drink some water. This, what, what is this? This is plus nine. Where some of pH water, big time water. Uh, how, many, how many pH is it? Plus nine pH or something like that. I don't know what the deal is. With my tablets, um, from. I'm gonna eat now, and then basically I'm gonna fast to like take my blood test tomorrow. Cause I don't want nothing in the way. 
Plus, you know. What the blood test really is for, it's for, you know, checking, you know, because I'm borderline diabetic, you know, how you, well, I have it in my family, like this life. My grandmother did, blah, blah, blah. And ah, avocado. My source of vitamin C. It's in my thing. Oh, I got the yogurt because uh, after I take, well, then I'm have, I, usually I'll have, uh, actually what I'll do is uh, tomorrow when I come back or, or Friday morning, tomorrow's Thursday, isn't it? yeah, Friday morning, then I have banana and avocado and my, uh, you know, chopped up and my, uh, what do you call it? Coat smoke yogurt. I'm looking for something here. Oh, uh, okay. So uh, don't worry, I was walking. Now, wonderful thing about walking is that that's a form of exercise. I mean, I do my regular exercise in the morning. Let me see what else I'm going to put on this thing. Oh, I know what I have in here. Oh, yeah. Spinach. Oh, I'll make a real good sandwich. I'll make a good sandwich. Spinach and I'll use the uh, hummus, cucumber dill hummus. Yeah. See what else kind of raid from their refrigerator. I'm uh, no, I'm going to take one. Anyway, so to that, to that. Oh, I got to use this bread. It's the only thing probably has some sugar in it, I guess. Whole grain fiber. I guess it's good. No, let me see what it says. It says ingredients. Let's see what it says about ingredients. About this bread. Let me check this out. First, let me take these things off. I'm going to have to talk. There we go. Uh, water, whole wheat flour, over the uh, gluten, uh, sugar, 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 sugar's in there. Crack wheat, da da da. I'm gonna have some sugar, but what can I do? And you know, see what I just, I twisted that thing, and when the bread goes down a little bit, then you can just do like this. You know, to put that little plastic thing back over and bob your uncle. Just thought I'd teach you something. Anyway, so that's da 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 da. So I'm gonna make my sandwich. That thing will boil, I'll make my sandwich. It's gonna be egg, spinach, raw spinach. Um, I'm gonna make a two sandwiches, and I'll just munch whatever. Um, but I guess I have to uh, twelve hour fast to be all right. Wow, well, whenever I stop eating. Uh, but I want to go back outside because I'm reading because the sun is out. You know, and if you're gonna go through the flu season, hey, you know, just do the sun, man. You got to do the sun every once in a while. You know. Um, so that's it. I just want to tell you, hey. It's flu season. Hey, oh, maybe I should tell you. Um, what did, didn't what's name sent me a thing? Oh, wait a second. Hold on. No, no, no. Hold, 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 hold. This is serious. He sent me a thing. Ah, maybe I can uh, look at it up here because the computer's over there. It's not my computer. Hold on. I'll be right back. Don't go no place. I'll be right there. I just gotta take this computer. This fine. I don't use. I don't use laptop. Laptops is not my it's not my thing. I'm really not into to laptops. Never have been, you know. And then when these phones came out, and then that was it. Laptops went by the way of the dodo bird for me. But uh, here we go. You know, earlier hey, these Tim. Turkish were using proxies like. Uh, uh, that was, uh, that's RT. I, I have RT on here because uh, you know when you get your when you get your news from. <laughs> When you get your news from wherever you get your news from, not American news. Anyway, oh, here we go. Here it is. Okay. Hey, since we're doing this, let me tell you something. My man, Stevie Deebie. See, I have a very small, I have a small circle of people that I trust, you know, that send me stuff. And sometimes I, you know, I do what I need to do. Okay. Uh, and uh, what happened? What was his story on this? What did he say about this? Uh, Stevie sent this thing. And he was... Anyway, he was with he was with some people, and and and, and somebody sent him somebody who's uh, 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 here. We go. Let me read it. Important announcement. Uh, important announcement over that virus thing. Last evening, dining out with friends, uh, one of their uncles who graduated with a master's degree and who works in the Shenzhen Hospital. Uh, that's whatever. Uh, that's a province uh, in the province of China. Right. Sent him the following note on. Uh, 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 on, the, on a virus for guidance. If you have a runny nose and sputum, you have a common cold. Oh, I only have, a, I don't have a runny nose, but I've, I've been walking, walk from, I just, I walk, from 100, uh, walk from the east side to the west side, then back up here. So, oh, it's not, not runny anymore. 
Okay, so so plus we have, we are in cold season. That just cold flu. It's funny in South Africa they call they say I got the flu. I mean they really got cold. You know, I mean flu is something else. It's got to be achy. You know, you got the, 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 the. cold. Just got a runny nose. And then now we change the season so people have. You know, they have colds. And so this is like a perfect, uh, you know, well, you know, you know, it was a mishmash. People think they got a flu, but they ain't got the flu, but they got a cold. And plus, you know, kids always got runny nose. Up. Never mind, I'm kidding. So, so. Um, uh, coronavirus pneumonia is a dry cough with no runny nose. There we go. Does that ease your mind a little bit? Okay. This new virus is not, he is, this, this new virus is not heat resistant and will, uh, and will and will be killed by a temperature of just oh twenty six slash twenty seven degrees. That, that would that would I, I think that would that probably would be that would has to be Celsius. He's talking about. Um, uh, it hates sun. There you go. Get out into the sun. Right. If someone seizes with it, it takes about ten feet before it it drops to the ground and is no longer airborne. This is the big problem. This thing is airborne. <sighs> Not good. If it drops on a metal surface, it will live for at least 12 hours. Wear some gloves. Uh, so if you come into contact with any metal surface, wash your hands as soon as possible, as, as soon as you can, da, 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 bacterial soap, uh, with bacterial soap. I don't know. Uh, I, okay, bacterial soap, they want to do that. I, I don't like to kill... <sighs> I would just use ivory soap. We grew up with ivory soap. Good enough. Or oh, I would even do lava. Do we have lava soap? I need to get some lava soap. Lava, I really love lava soap. That'll, that'll do everything. On fabric, it can uh, survive for uh, 6 to 12 hours. Normally, normal uh, laundry term will kill it. Drinking warm water is effective for all viruses. Try not to drink liquids with ice. Oh, oh good. Thing is gone. What time is it? I usually, when, my, when the water starts boiling, then I usually let the boil for like 10 minutes and then, you know, then it's perfect, perfectly boiled egg. Um, uh, drinking warm water is effective for all viruses. Try not to drink liquids with ice. Uh -oh. uh, wash your hands frequently as the virus can only live on your hands for uh, five to 10 minutes, but a lot can happen during that time. You can rub your eyes, pick your nose, unwillingly, and so on. Turn this thing down just a little bit. Okay. A lot can happen in that time. You can rub your eyes, pick your nose, and so on. You should uh, also gargle as a prevention. Wow, that's interesting. I gargle every... Well, I gargle. Uh, a simple solution of salt and warm water... Uh, will suffice. Okay, great. Um, that was, that's good anyway. Uh, 10. Can't emphasize enough. Drink plenty of water. This is re really interesting. See, because you, if you hydrate, you know what I mean? Then, you know, you, you, you can flush. You'll flush. That's what I'm saying. You'll flush the system out. Yeah. That's why they say, um, let me keep on going here. Let's see what it says. Uh, the symptoms. Oh, yeah, by the way, also, uh, drink, cut down on your alcohol consumption. Why is that? Because what alcohol does, the reason why you get, you alter your state with alcohol, because it dehydrates the cells. Get it? So when you do, say, when you go to a bar, right, if you have a cock, whatever, you're supposed to drink water with that, and that will, uh, unless you want to get all inebriated, well, just let you know. So so you don't have to stop alcohol, but you should cut it down or drink a whole lot more water. Okay. And what else is that? The symptoms. It will first infect the throat. You uh, uh, so you'll have a sore throat lasting three to four days. Got it? Okay. The virus then blends into the nasal fluid uh, that enters the trachea and then the lungs, causing pneumonia. This takes about uh, five to six days. Another another five to six days beyond the three to four days, I guess. Uh, with the pneumonia comes high fever and difficulty in breathing. Got it? Okay. The nasal congestion is not the nasal con, con, the nasal congestion is not like the normal kind. You feel like you're drowning. 
you know, like waterboarding, you know, kind of thing, right? It's imperative uh, you then seek immediate attention. Spread the word. So I'm spreading the word. That's a you know, word for me. T, from the Patterson, taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. According to, you know, a friend of mine that sent me this thing that, that we're supposed to spread this. So, so spread it, right? Check you later.